So I Show Speed is one of the biggest content creators in the world right now. Arguably the biggest streamer in the world. And honestly, somebody that's only gonna get bigger and bigger. Probably the closest thing we've seen to like a prime KSI. Obviously, he became almost world famous with the whole Cristiano Ronaldo. I can't even say it. I can't even say Christian Ronaldo. Sui. I can't even say it properly. I can't even do it justice. Speed, take it away. Crystal Ronaldo, Suey. And there's one team in the NBA that is struggling quite a lot. They might actually go and win today, surprisingly enough. But the Golden State Warriors have been awful. And I mean awful at Ed Steph Curry. So we have put I Show Speed onto the Golden State Warriors. And no, maybe they're going to lose. They were way ahead and now they're only up by five. They probably, they probably are going to go lose the Warriors. We put I Show Speed on the Golden State Warriors right here. And we are going to see if he wins them a ring. So for I show speed, we obviously, if you guys know anything about speed, when this guy played 2K, he was a post scorer and he was a not very good one. As well as that, in terms of like athleticism, we had to give him 99 hustle. If you guys saw how he ran at that sideman game, 99 hustle, 99 stamina and 99 speed to the ball and acceleration lateral. That guy just ran from, he ran every second that he was on the pitch and he was two footing people. He was out there two footing guys in the sideman charity match. So let's see how they can do with him on the team. So he's gonna be probably backing up Stephen Curry. He's coming off the bench, playing, still playing 30 minutes a game. The Warriors rotation going like realistically seven deep. But uh, let's see how the Warriors can get on right here. So I'm gonna take this trade and I'm gonna tell you guys, oh, you know what, screw it now, I'm not gonna take any trades. We're gonna see how they can get on with just him. I was gonna move Clay to the three and start speed, but like, it doesn't really matter. Considering three of the four best players in the team might be point guards. But a solid nine and three star. This is what would be expected off a defending champion. Not the, what's it, like 14 and 17 that they're going to go today? Like, they're in a really, really bad spot right now. They're in a horrific, horrific spot. Where they might go 15 and 19 today. That's even worse. But, uh... Chris Middleton for Wiggins, I'm not going to take it. That wouldn't be the worst trade in the world, but oh, I don't know. Wasn't that? Uh, I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to take that. Okay, at least we're like the Warriors 20 and 4. So like Ronaldo couldn't save the Lakers. Messi couldn't save the Lakers. There's not that many outside guys that have been able to save teams. It's looking like speed will be the savior of the Warriors. Uh, as I soon as I say it's looking like speed to me save it warriors they lose three games in a row the curse of the commentator So now we're at where we are in real life a game against the Grizzlies where they're actually up uh, a little bit at halftime I, By the time this is out the game will be over no idea what way this game goes, but NBA standings Barely better than Memphis Barely better than Memphis in terms of record and somehow Chicago who are also terrible the two best teams in the NBA, according to the simulation, are two teams that are doing terribly this year. Absolutely terribly. So in terms of points, speed averaging 17.4 off the bench, 7.7 .7 rebounds, 8.2 assists. He's having a six man of the year type year. And Steph Curry is injured. It'll happen. This is I show speed's time to shine. 31 and seven at the injury. And it's looking like the Warriors suck. The Warriors without Steph Curry in this simulation are like the Warriors without Steph Curry in real life. Four L's in a row. Speed, you gotta step up. You gotta be the guy, Speed. I would even be tempted to make that trade. At least Steph Curry, six to eight weeks, comes back in two. That's pretty good. I don't know what the hell the Golden State Warriors are doing with their medical team. Did they give him the, like, Kevin Durant all clear? Is he gonna go and snap his Achilles right now? Because I'm a person who played basketball with a calf strain and snapped my Achilles, which was not great. And we've seen him out there for a few weeks, not one day. Either way, though, the team is now... Oh, Speed's out for two to four months. Speed broke his ankle. Speed broke his ankle, lads. So there's two months to go in the regular season. My prediction for when Speed is back is going to be St. Patrick's Day, March the 17th. Two to four months, I reckon, just the way the game is, he's going to be back on March the 17th. Not a great end of the season here for Golden State. 45-20, they're not going to even get close to winning 60 games. And Wiggins is now hurt. Wiggins is now hurt, lads. So injuries to speed. Wiggins and speed is back. Wait, what day is he back? March the 12th. Oh, I guess the 17th. 
Even though he's not the other two months, I guess that he'd be out not even six weeks. And we go and lose to the Hawks on the 17th. Iguodala injured. Doesn't matter. As long as the Martians aren't pointing a damn death beam on the earth, I don't really need Iguodala, to be fair. And Wiggins is back. We're going to be fine for the playoffs. It's all good, though. Healthy going into the playoffs. 55 and 27. Ja winning MVP. Rookie of the year being I show speed. How would speed not win six man of the year? 19, 8, and 8 with 1.6 steals a game. How did he not win six man of the year? Like, he won defensive player of the year. I, it, that is completely justifiable. If you watch the side men match with the amount of times he was two footing people, defensive player of the year for speed, fully understandable. He should have won defensive player of the year, six man of the year, and rookie of the year. I show speed was robbed, the lads. He was absolutely robbed. So now we're in the playoffs as the two seed. The Memphis Grizzlies are out here as the top seed. So the Memphis Grizzlies, are they going to go and win their round? Because Andre Woodall again coming back makes absolutely no difference. Maybe he's a glue guy. The Memphis Grizzlies are losing to the Kings. Oh, I just I say that the Sacramento Queens go and lose. Of course they lose to the freaking Sacramento Queens. And let's not blow this lead. We're good. We're 3-1 up. Gentlemen sweep. And the Grizzlies get gentlemen swept here by the Pelicans. Do the Pelicans have anyone new? Nah, the Pelicans just have their guys. They just got their team. Like, it is what it is with those guys. Like, you know what you're going to get from New Orleans. 2-1. 3-1. And Draymond out for the season. Oh, no. I show speed off the bench. Winning Western Conference Finals MVP right here. I show speed balling. All right, lads. So now we're facing the we're facing the Celtics. We go two 0 down. We go three 0 down to the Boston Celtics. I think we're making a comeback here. We're gonna make the comeback. You can you can tell we're up by twenty in this game. And we're about to choke, are we? No, we've won. No, we're not. Oh wow, nine point lead, nine point win. That's fine. That's fine. We're gonna sim these with simcast. We're gonna win. No chance. Look at that. Oh, we're, we're way down. Oh, dear Lord. I don't know why I thought we were the Celtics. I was about to say come back on. But Jesus Christ. What the hell? I'm 27 points with three minutes to go. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I can set this to rookie and we still don't have a freaking hope in hell. Okay, speed. Just go to the corner. Shoot the three. Oh, dear Lord. He's got this bomb. He's got a bomb release. Cool playing small forward. We're going ultra small ball. Come on, Looney. That's the dream on the fact they go and hit a heavy. Come on, Speed. You're good. You're good. You're good. Good job there. Oh, my God, Speed. Oh, no, Speed. Do we have to go into the post? And Jalen Brown has scored 43 points. He has 43 points against us. Tatum's just out here playing bully ball. There's nothing we can do with that. Tatum is playing bully ball. Speed burns him to the basket. I show Speed. He's just too little. Staff 29, speed 25, it doesn't matter. The Celtics with Jalen Brown dropping 40. It's game over. It's game over. We're down 33. There's nothing we can do. All we can maybe do is get into the paint and post up with I show speed. Do what he was known for. Do what he was known for. We're gonna be the post scorer. We're gonna be the post scorer of dreams one last time. Well, considering speed doesn't play 2K in a long time. This was the last first, well, last time of many, but let's sim to the end. A 30-point massacre. A massacre right here. A complete and utter massacre. And it is Jalen Brown. We let Jalen Brown average 36-8 and eight in the finals. Having probably the best finals since Dwayne Wade in 2006. Despite the fact that it's Jalen freaking Brown, lads. But yeah, that is, that is it. That is it, lads. Could speed save the Warriors? I mean, if you think making a finals again is saving the Warriors, then yeah. But could he win the, get them to win a ring? Could he get them to beat the Boston Celtics for a second year in a row? Unfortunately not. In terms of YouTube, in terms of on the football pitch, in terms of hyping freaking Ronaldo, speed is that guy. In terms of being a guy to help the Warriors win a championship, he's just not that guy.